Hi, I'm Henry from Animals Garden Center, and I'm here today to talk to you about fall container gardening. And one of the reasons I'm going to talk to you about fall container gardening is because this Saturday, September 11th, I want you to join us down here at the Garden Center for our Make and Take Do Your Own Fall Container Workshop. It's going to be a great workshop. We're going to have a mix of annuals and perennials for you to combine together to make your own container that you can take home and have for your deck, your patio, your front porch. Uh, that'll be real pretty to get you through September, October, and even well into November. Now when you're going to do a fall container uh, for yourself at home, one of the things you really want to take into account is that you want to start with really good soil. And starting with really good potting soil is what's really going to make the difference for your plants as to whether they thrive or they just kind of sit there in the container. Now here at the garden center, whether we're growing the plants for you to take home or we're even doing our own container containers, we always use a uh, Fafford Professional Potting Mix. And this is a soil mix I've been using for over 20 years. Here at the Garden Center, they've been using it for over 30. And it's a great quality potting mix, easy to use, wonderful and light. And it's the only thing I use even in my own house, my own containers uh, at home. Now, obviously, when you're thinking about your fall containers, obviously you want to think about, you know, how exactly you're going to set up the container, you know, what kind of heights do I want, what kind of plants do I want. And you know, the biggest rule I can tell you right off the bat is go with what you like. You know, a lot of people are going to say that you should have this heights and this heights and something to spill and, and whatnot. But in the end, you're the one who has to be happy with the container. So number one rule is, is obviously go with what you like. Now having said that, one of the things that you may want to consider is you may want to consider having some type of plant that's going to be a focal point in your container, something that's going to kind of give the wow, kind of give the pizzazz. And for the container that I'm going to start today, and you can see the finish of on Saturday when you come down for the talk, is I'm going to start with this annual fountain grass. Now this is called Penicetum rubrum. And this is an annual fountain grass. It will die away for the winter. Uh, but this is going to be something that you can plant in a fall container that's got this great burgundy color. Uh, it's going to go wonderful with like yellow mums or bronze mums. It'll go with asters or other, other perennials and annuals. Uh, but it's also going to have these wonderful plumes that come out on it that are going to have this great pink appearance that eventually fade out to kind of a whitish color. Uh, it's just going to keep going and going uh, until it finally gets too cold. Now, with this plant, when you take it out of the container, you want to check the roots. If the roots are starting to take the form of the pot, you want to break these up. And this is a part where you don't need to be too bashful. You know, you're going to break some roots, you're going to tear this apart, but in the end that's actually going to be a good thing because you'll actually get the plant to uh, have a bigger root system to it. It'll actually have a more branched root system. So don't be afraid to rip this up. So that's what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start ripping this up. And you want to make sure you get the bottom of it ripped up well, but you also want to go around the sides a little bit too. Break it up around the sides. And like I say, key word here is don't be bashful. Rip it up. And once you've got it all kind of broken up, uh, we've got to decide, you know, where in the container do you want it? Do you want to do it in the center with things around it? Or are you going to put your container kind of in a corner so it's only going to be viewed from one direction? I'm going to kind of do this container as if it's going to be viewed from one direction. So I'm actually going to put this plant towards me, obviously, because you're watching the video. I'm going to put this in the container. You want to just obviously pull the soil away to make a hole. And when you put this in the container, in your hole that you made. You want to make sure that you keep the plant at the soil line that it is in the container. You don't want to bury this deeper into the pot because that can lead uh, to certain problems uh, down the road in your container. So you always want to make sure that you got your plants uh, right at the soil level uh, that they are. So we're going to put this in here. And you want to make sure you backfill around it really well and you want to press the soil in around it because you don't want any air pockets uh, around, around the plant. And there's our penicillin brew room for this container. Now, uh, this container doesn't necessarily have to be all annuals. You can add perennials into this container if you would like to. Perennials can add a great uh, shot of color, uh, either foliage or flower. Uh, to a fall container and there's several things uh, that make great options. And for our container today the perennial that we're going to use is going to be this Russian sage. 
And Russian sage, it's a great late summer fall blooming perennial because you can cut the old blooms off of it and it'll keep going in the garden. But it's also got this great silver foliage. And I think that great silver foliage is going to look wonderful with the green of our pot and also with the nice burgundy foliage of our grass. And I think it's going to kind of give a little extra pop uh, to our focal plant. So again, we're going to pop this out of the container. And again, you want to make sure you, you uh, break up the roots. And again, like, like I said earlier, don't make sure you, don't be too bashful when you do it. So we're going to break up around the bottom. We're also going to break up the sides a little bit. And again, this is just to get that root system to branch out more. Uh, and it'll be better in the long run. And again, now we're going to make our hole next to our Penicetum rubrum. Put our Russian sage in. We're going to backfill it around it, make sure we don't have any air pockets around the plant. There we go, and I think that looks really great when you have the two of these together next to each other. And the Russian sage is going to be something that even when the container's done, you know, at the end of October or beginning of November, uh, whenever winter decides to come, this is going to be a plant that you can take out of this container and you can plant out into the garden to have for next year uh, as well. Now, when you're going to take care of your fall containers uh, once you've done them up at home, a couple key things you want to remember is obviously going to be water. Uh, depending on how large your containers are or where they're located. Uh, if it's really hot, if we have a hot fall, you may need to water these every day. Uh, but if it stays cool, you know, you could probably get away with doing every two to three days. But it's really going to depend on the weather as far as how often uh, you're going to do it. Uh, you can also uh, make sure that you put a little bit of a fertilizer in this. Uh, something really simple that you can use would be something like Osmoco, uh, which are pellets that's a time release fertilizer that you could sprinkle into the container. And every time you water, the water is going to take a little fertilizer with it uh, to help keep the container going. And one of the last things to really mention is to really keep your container going and keep it blooming and looking good is to make sure you deadhead any of your flowers. Uh, and basically, what I mean by that is, is pull off any of the old blooms on any of the flowers in your containers, and that will help to keep the containers blooming. Uh, right through uh, until the end of the season. So hopefully uh, this has been helpful and if you want to see the finished container please come down to Van Wilgens on Saturday September 11th at 10 o'clock when we do our fall container make and take workshop and thanks for joining us today. I'm Henry from Van Wilgens Garden Center. I hope you enjoyed the video.